It's always risky when a beloved franchise takes a hard left turn into a completely different genre. Our blue pixelated friend has made many cameos in an abundance of different games, but this time he returns with a full cast of characters in a puzzle adventure. I'm Kutsky and this is my review of Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Get ready! I absolutely loved the original retro-influenced 2D platform game Shovel Knight. I think I own it on four different consoles at this point. I have all the Amiibo figures, so I was always going to be all in on any new game in this franchise. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon is a spin-off from the original in a completely different genre, a roguelite puzzle game. You play on a tile-based grid with persistently falling blocks and enemies. Each time you move or attack, this pushes time forward, continually filling the play area. You can attack enemies to remove them, but each time you attack an enemy, they'll also deal damage in return. Run out of health or fill the board and the game is over. Luckily, there's plenty of HP potions to replenish your health and attacking chains of connected enemies allow you to dispatch hordes of monsters, only taking damage from the one adjacent to you. It's actually a lot harder to try and explain the rules of the game than it is to figure it out for yourself. I had absolutely no idea what was going on with the game when I first played it, but after a few somewhat confused runs, the mechanics started to click and it became intuitive to me in no time. The main mode of the game is the adventure, where you must conquer 10 levels of increasing difficulty to complete the game. Being a rogue light, when you die, you die. It's back to the beginning again but some perks and progress are permanently unlocked along the way. On your journey, you'll encounter familiar boss battles if you've played the original. Defeating each boss will unlock them as a playable character, each having their own unique skill set, similar to the DLC on the original game. And again, each boss has a unique skill set which puts a completely different spin on how you're going to need to play the game to complete it. After each failed run, you have the option to return to the overworld, a fun area to take a breather, spend some of your hard-earned in-game cash on unlockables, and explore to find some secret mini-games and beloved character cameos. In addition to the adventure mode, there's also a competitive two-player versus mode and a daily challenge mode where you can register one run per day to an online leaderboard. There's also a regular leaderboard for the other modes in the game where you can check how your skills compare against friends and the rest of the world. As you can see, I'm not faring so well. As you'd expect from any entry into the Shovel Knight series, the pixel art graphics look beautiful and the chiptune themed soundtrack is amazing, featuring remixes of many of the original game's classics. If you enjoy the world of Shovel Knight, this is absolutely worth checking out, regardless of your interest in puzzle games. And similarly, if you enjoy puzzle games but you're a newcomer to the Shovel Knight universe, this is a must-have. After around 10 hours of gameplay, I've still only discovered 50% of the Adventure Mode unlockables. And even when I have fully completed it, there's still the endless challenges of the other modes, similar to how you could keep playing Tetris and Columns forever. So I really do think this is going to be one of those games that stays on the main menu of my Switch home screen for some time to come. Hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If so, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with new videos, and let me know in the comments what other spin-off games you've enjoyed. I really like that cadence of Hyrule. I didn't think I'd be able to get into that, but I ended up fully completing it. And if you wanted a really deep cut, I actually loved Sonic Spinball when it came out back in the day, but I don't think that one's aged so well, to be honest. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Kutsky signing out. Keeping the games alive.